Oh, hi guys, welcome to my Michaels haul. Um, I had quite a bit of fun at Michaels today. Um, so I picked up a few things and I thought I would share them because, just because I guess. <laughs> and um, so I picked up another pad of Brilliance Graphite Black Pigment Ink because um, when I moved, I guess the lid had come off of it. And when I unpacked it, my ink pad had been like, it was kind of gross. So it was like super gooey almost, so I had to get a new one. And then I picked up some Halloween washi tape. And, um, let's see, it's the Recollections washi. And it doesn't say, like, what one this is. This, it's got, like, orange and black chevrons and orange and black polka dots. And then I got, like, the zigzag one. I thought it was a little chevron, but in different colors. And then I got this washi tape, and I thought, oh my gosh, you know what that matches? That matches the Me and My Big Ideas paper. So I got that, thinking, hmm, card. So I got those. And then I picked up some more blades for my cutter because you can never have too many of those. So I try and throw a package of those in the cart every time I go. And um, I got some brands. Um, I thought these little red, white, and blue stars would be super cute for my Veterans Day cards that I want to do. And then these white snowflake brands I thought would be super cute for um, my Christmas or winter cards. And, um, let's see. I'm just going to grab from the pile here. I picked up a Fine Point uh, Martha Stewart glue pen. I love these um, glue pens because, like, it takes a second for it to get tacky. And then, you know, like, as it starts to dry, it finally starts getting tacky. So you have a little bit of play time before your glue dries. Like, because my quickie glue... Oh, sorry guys, I'm starting to get the hiccups. My quickie glue pen, like, it dries almost instantly on me. Because, I don't know, maybe I just don't move fast enough for it. But this has sort of like a broad fine point. And it's just, you know. But I really like the Martha Stewart glue pen. So, I got that. And then I got some more of this. I ordered some from Simon Says Stamp, but it's not going to be here till next week, and I need it. So some Tombow um, Mono Malty. And then I got um, a couple of these. These go to the Wicked collection that I picked up last month. And they didn't have this stuff out. All they had was the paper. So I picked this up when I went, and I got some of the, um, what do you call it, twine. And then I got some of the enamel dots to go with the collection. So I can, you know, try and use up as much of that paper as possible. And then I also got another Quick Cuts die, and I got the witch's hat. I thought this would be cute as, like, a little accent on a card. And then, okay, show you all the Halloween stuff first. No, I don't care. Um, I got this Inky Antics Clear Stamps. And this one was kind of expensive. I think I spent $17 on this little stamp set. But um, I thought this little squirrel was just so cute. And it says from one nut to another. And it's got a little acorn. And then these little acorn pieces right here you cut out. And you use this um, honeycomb paper. And it does like, I don't know if you can see. Is it going to focus? Like, right there on the inside of the card. I thought that would be so cute. So, I got that little guy um, for, like, a couple fall cards or something I want to do. And then I just got, like, the fall colored honeycomb paper from Inky Antics. And then I got a X-Acto knife. And this is actually for my husband because he asked me to pick one up. So, I got that. And then I got a couple um, wood-mounted stamps because... I never leave that store without any, it feels like. Um, this one here is by Hampton Art. And I'm just looking to see if it has a name. It doesn't have a name on it. But it's just this cute little owl stamp. And, um, let's see. There's the, the side of it in case you're looking for one also. 
but super cute, super cute. And then I got a couple of the dollar stamps. These are the dollar fifty stamps. They used to be a dollar. I don't know what happened, but this cute little owl guy. They didn't have none of these when I was there last time, but I thought he was cute. And they didn't have very much of a selection either. And then I got the Halloween like candies. So that's all I got for the dollar stamps. The other ones really didn't interest me. And then I got, um, this is a Stampendous stamp, and this is a Christmas stamp, and this one's called Snow Girl. So how cute is she, right? And then this one's also Stampendous, and this is called Penguin Pear. So I had to get them, because, you know, my husband, when he proposed for me, he, he gave me, like, this wire-wrapped rock, and told me, here's your rock, I, will you marry me, type thing. So... <laughs> I always call it my penguin because, you know, the pebbles, like, the penguin and the pebble story. Like, that's how they choose their mate or whatever. Along the lines. So, I picked up one of these Hero Arts stamps also. And it's just um, Christmas greetings. And I thought there was some good ones. It's like, thinking of you at Christmas. May you enjoy a very merry Christmas. Um, may Harmony feel your holiday season, wishing you love, laughter now and throughout the year. So I thought there were some really good ones. I didn't read them all, but those are some really good ones. Then I also got the ornamental die by Tim Holtz. I don't have this one. I kind of was on a Tim Holtz kit because I ordered like a bunch of his new dies today too. So, and then I got, and I don't know if I ordered this paper online or not. So if I did, this might go in a giveaway. Um, a Merry Little Christmas by My Mind's Eye. Really, really cute Christmas paper. Really cute. Like, I have the perfect paper that I ordered from My Favorite Things today, too, to go with this paper pad. So, just cute. And it's double sided, and it's, oh my gosh, so cute. I could see the little penguins or the little snow girl on here and then this one is found christmas or lost and found christmas special edition but oh let's let's see if i could pop this open okay so it comes like that and lots of cute very classic christmas Look at those trees. I love it. So. Got that. And then I got um, some cardstock. And I just got white and black cardstock. And it's the 65 pound cardstock from Michael's. It's a recollection cardstock. And this is actually for a. Um, what do you call it? A die swap that I'm doing on Messy Desk. So I needed some more black and white cardstock for the swap. So, and this is $3.99 a package. So if any of you girls doing a swap with me need um, the paper, that's where I get my paper from. That's, you know, a nice heavy -er weight, I guess, or a nice weight to do die cuts in. And then I got this, I don't even know how many is in here, six piece. I should have picked up two more next month, right? Um, they're just um, 14 by 13 inch um, file folders for my file folder Jetmax Recollection Cube thingy. Like the, the furniture thingy. But I have a couple file cabinets. And when you put them together, when you buy them, it only comes with two folders each cube, which is kind of ridiculous for what you pay for it, but okay. And then <laughs> my son seen this, and he asked me to get it so we can put it together. And it's just like this little foamy Halloween house scene. So I told him, yeah, we can do this. I told him we could do it later on tonight. So, and that's another thing. And then I bought this magazine because it came with a bunch of free stuff in it. But I don't know, for $12, is it really free? <laughs> so, I was kind of excited about that. 
It comes with a 6x6 Melissa Francis pad of paper, plus some pearls. And I'm kind of tempted to open up the paper. Because I love Melissa Francis. Her um, style is very, like, me. Very soft and elegant and pretty. I just knew this would be beautiful paper. I didn't even need to look at it to know I wanted it. Oh, look at that ledger paper. Just gorgeous paper. So, yeah. I had to get the magazine. And besides, what's, you know, the Harmon having some kind of inspiration to look at. And the magazine is called Simply Cards and Paper Crafts. So, I don't even know if I'm allowed to do like a flip through of that, but that's what I got. Look at these cute little, yeah. So, I'll have to look at that. And then, oh, it comes with a Fix-It Craft Adhesive. Mail Order Catalog. But it comes with some little really thin foam adhesive. Those might be. And then it comes with like Craft Plus. It's like a little catalog. Look at him. Oh, I might have to. But those are all marked in euros. I don't know, you guys. I don't know if. Because this is everything is marked in euros. How am I supposed to order? Okay, well. For all my European friends or UK friends, um, this www.cardcraftsplus, .cra sorry guys, I'm reading at an angle, .co.uk, they have some deals and some really cute stuff. Like, I don't know, $14.99 for all those dyes or whatever, that to me doesn't seem very bad. And all these Christmas trees, oh, really cute. I wonder if I could buy it here in the States. I don't know. And then it also came with, like, these die cuts that already popped out. I don't know, is this a year, like, uh, printed in the UK? That explains a lot. But still, very inspirational, right? And I got my paper. So, yeah, you guys get awesome magazines. So, <laughs> that's, um, everything I got. And, yeah, not too bad, huh? So, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles!